guys, it's Mary Mary, back with the moment you've all been waiting for, my winter skincare. So I'll just start with uh, a little background. This will be a long video. I might have to chop it into three portions. I had childhood eczema. I still do. It was on the back of my legs in the in like the joints by your elbow. I was given the ultraviolet light therapy, which I don't think did any good. The best thing for me was uh, medium level cortisone, which is Cutivate now. So I'm real thankful that I'm just still on medium after half a century. I also have allergies. I had the scratch test and I'm allergic to wool, grass, tomatoes, and dogs. And so I was given shots so we could keep our family poodle. I do think that with allergies, sometimes you can get over them or at least get used to them. I have a chihuahua now and a schnauzer. So I think exposure sometimes helps unless you have severe allergies. Um, I also had rosacea. I still have it. And very dry, very sensitive skin. Right now it's totally dry. It's totally depleted. I had to take off the concealer because it was just, I look like a dry riverbed. So we'll just give the old face a rest. And then also like a um, big dummy. Yesterday I was eating and laughing about it, almonds and stuff. And I woke up this morning and my neck was like, I was scratchy. So that wasn't good. But at least it, it didn't give me the reaction that I had last week. So here's what I did, and here's what I recommend. And also, I also want to um, tell you that I was going to shoot a drugstore eyeshadow, and that's what I'm wearing now in Loving. That's why you see all these different colors. Except that's all in my makeup basket, so you'll see that next Thursday. Unless you really want to see... Um, my drugstore eyeshadow, I will do that because I certainly hope that I didn't make anyone feel bad showing you um, the palettes. I, so I don't know, I'm like a little goofy right now. But all right, let's just get into this. <laughs> the toner I put on my face today and it didn't sting. It was stinging for a while. This was a like $18. It's a Polygone Bagone best choice for people with severely dry skin. I think there's a better toner out there though. When I had that reaction Thursday, what I, I uh, put tea in one of these tea bags. These are like $5 at, I don't know, any, any store that would carry them. So these are tea bags. Put white tea or green tea. This is one of the examples of tea that I have. I use this to hold my brushes now. That's how I can afford the palettes. <laughs> you should see how I save money. And then here's the Republic of Tea. This is actually what I use, the matcha tea. It's a powder, and I put that in a bag. You heat the bag up, you know, under hot water, and then let it cool down, and then I put it on my face. This is just interesting. John Frieda has a product I like using. This was a lot more product for less money, and it works just the same. It puts, like, blonde highlights in your hair. My, I'm not blonde. I don't have blonde highlights. It's the Juice Organics shampoo that was um, taking the color out, but that's okay. I'll talk about that later. Um, the ne very next day when I went to Sephora, this gel pack saved me. I think it has olive leaf extract, and I think I do well with the green, the green plants. Um, hyaluronic acid, uh, japonica, you know, cranberry, just certain. It's a real cool pack to it. It's a gel, and it, it sticks on your face. This uh, is another facial that I gave myself. This one was one of my favorites. This is, I get this at TJ Maxx. I love this one. This is also a good one. This was actually the very first one I put on my face. I was like, what can I use? And I know I like juice pomegranate. 
So I put this one on. This one's like a goop that you put over your face. It's not like a cotton mask like the other ones are that I showed you. This actually, anti-wrinkle eye pads, this has squalene in it. And this does not hurt my eyes. My eyes aren't dry or anything, oddly enough. This skin calming from Eucerin. I never use Eucerin products. This calmed my hands down immediately. So... This was a real good product, and I think I got, I bought three items from Eucerin, and I had coupons, and then it got me more stuff at CVS, so that worked out. I don't think, I'm not sure this is a recommendation, but I do like these wet cleansing from Olay. I think there might be better. The 7-in-1 might be better. Those have niamiases, you know what I mean. This, I was hoping, would save me. This is Joe Malone. It smells mm, faintest of vanilla, faintest of butter, like a real nice cupcake. The ingredients, water, butyl, spirulium, park eye shea. So shea butter is next. Coca, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Coconut oil. So it's shea and then coconut. It didn't work the miracles that I wanted it to. So this was a, it still is very, very nice, but for what I needed, emergency, it didn't do the trick. However, the vitamin gel that she has, that was really good. This was surprising. This was like under $5. Grocery store has snail secretion very last. So I'm sure that's just a marketing thing. But this did not annoy my skin or inflame it at all. So I went on to buy a few. And I also have their olive oil one now, too. Um, I'm trying. This saves my hands, like, immediately. This is the Juice Organics. I do really well with peptides. It says facial moisturizer. Don't put this on your face, though, if you have severely dry skin like me. And then... This is, um, when I went to Sephora, the Bosha is highly rated, but it was whoosh, inflaming my skin. And so was this other product that I'll show you shortly. This is what works. And I, we're, my skin just happens to do well with peptides and ceramides. So this worked wonderfully. And if I was thinking, I would have dug out my Elizabeth Arden ceramides. Maybe that would have helped. I take, I'm taking a break from Elizabeth Arden so that my skin doesn't get too used to it. You know you know what I'm saying? Um, I haven't had a cold all winter, which is odd, and it's because every time one comes on, I spray this. It's a mouth spray, and I'm starting to take Airborne. This is the fizzy. You got chewables, but if vitamin C is good for my skin on the outside, I'm kind of imagining what I can do on the inside. I'm surprised that the Aquaphor has lanolin in it. I saw this on Lori over 40. <laughs> so I like this. I'm really surprised. This is from Jewel, my local grocery store, and it's a dollar. It's mineral oil, vitamin E, and coconut oil. So we'll see how that does. But those are the items... That really impressed me. Let me. I don't know if I can pause this. Here's some more, and I have quite a bit, and it's been collected over a long period of time. So uh, here's the olive oil, under five dollars, maybe even three ninety nine at hopefully your local grocery store. This is a real good value. It's the coconut butter from TJ Maxx. This is wonderful. This whole thing's going to go crashing. I love the 8-hour from Elizabeth Arden. And I think Carson's or Macy's is having a, a promo now. The Snake Bee is wonderful. It has my favorite scent, and it's never annoyed my skin. So that's great. I have a backup. This Amlactin is a funny, funny story. I have a friend, we call her the hot mess. 
short dresses, no underwear, every cosmetic procedure known to man, but she knows her products and she recommended this. She has bumpy skin and this works for her. The smell of ammonia though, I just can't get over it. Um, this is really good. I like the CeraVe. I have a ton that you'll see. Mm, where can I put this? This is going to be awkward. I'm at 10 minutes now. Should I stop or should I keep going? All right. <clears throat> I'll stop right after this. I tried the $5 grapeseed oil. You have to rub it in, and I was still itchy, but for $5 for a food-grade product, I'd consider it. This has jojoba in it. However, it's my gold bond that I love. I love gold bond. I don't like this, though, because... It's gimmicky. I don't like the ribbons coming out and the price point. It's like almost $9. It's not going to sell, so it will go on sale. But it's gold bond. It's good. This was the best. A little expensive, though, for St. Ives. Wait for a coupon. Uh, you don't have to rub this in. It moisturized me the most. At first, I didn't like it, so I gave it to my mom, and then I bought a coconut one, and I liked it. So I took this one back and gave the coconut one to my mom. That's just how I operate. I'm getting, well, I put all my Bath and Body Works soaps to the side, and now I'm using this to wash my hands. Um, I do have coconut oil. I have two of them because I can't figure out which one was for cooking and which one was for blah, blah, blah. Here's zinc assay. I didn't think I was allergic to zinc. This is for inflammation. And this is a good vitamin line, this quantum research. So th I'll take this. And I did take a swig or few, um, you know, when it, I initially got all inflamed. Um, this I just bought. And it's nice. It's was a recommendation from Julie's Beauty Dish. She has really dry skin. This has colloidal oatmeal 1%. So remember that, colloidal oatmeal 1%, and then see how many percents, and if you can get something that has more for less. I'm surprised this doesn't irritate me. This is a good moisture. I use it for a moisturizer. It was a Kelly Loves to Paint recommendation. I thought it would... I thought it had lavender in it, but I did. I was able to put it on my neck um, once, and no problem. I wouldn't put it on my face. Anything on my my neck's pretty sensitive to this area. Here's my peptides. I have a facial foaming facial. You'll see that I'll use. I have the B6, but I think this is drying because it's for, uh, I wanted the redness reducing and pore minimizing, but not the oil absorbing. So this is crazy for me right now. Probably good in the summer, though. Here's a vitamin E from Trader Joe's that I actually like. And this one has soybean oil, vitamin E, and then coconut oil. So I like this one for from Trader Joe's. I don't know what's the deal with soy. Um, I have hypothyroidism too, so that gives you dry, brittle skin. Uh, here's the Pure Miracle Mist. Hydrate and set. I just, of course, noticed the hydrate. It reminds me of Dr. Hoshka's line. So I like that. And then I'm trying this little olive oil. The vitamin E sinks in my skin quicker than the olive oil. So that's basket one and the things that worked well for me. So just to recap, this works like a charm to, um, believe it or not, help my hands. I know they don't look too good, but they looked worse. This worked like a charm. In an emergency, go get some tea, white or green tea, and you should be okay. You know, enough to get somewhere where you can get help. All right, I'm going to stop this and go to part two. Thank you so much 
for watching.